Hey there, it's Carrie Rhodes. Welcome back to my stamp studio here in Eagle, Idaho. Today is episode one of my July Stamp Set of the Month series. This month, you voted, you picked the stamp set, and the winner or the voted stamp set is the Unicorn Picnic Set by Lawn Fun. So that's the set I'm gonna be featuring every week in the month of July. So watch for a new video every Tuesday with this cute stamp set. So today we're taking this stamp set and making a little village scene. And I am also going to be giving away a card from today's video. So all you need to do is leave a comment below. And at the end of the week, I will draw out a name and announce the winner in next week's video. So make sure to comment right away and watch next week to see if you win a card from this video. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right in. Here we go starting out today's cards with the backgrounds. This is the puffy cloud backdrop in the portrait style and I've die cut it from an A2 size card front. I've also die cut a large slimline panel with the Lawn Fawn die set and I'm cutting that with the puffy cloud and then that will give me all the panels but it'll have the stitching that fits onto another, a second um, large slimline panel. So I cut two slimline panels, one then I cut with the clouds and I'll spread them out so they will then fit on the second piece, which I'm now going to put a little of the speckled egg distress oxide ink. Now I just want to dust up the edges with this ink. This ink is like a, a grayish teal color. I would call it like it has a little bit of blue and it has a little bit of green and it has a little bit of gray and I was just so excited to use it I think it's a beautiful color but in the end I think I should have went with a brighter color I was just so excited to use this brand new stamp pad so and new distress ink like how exciting is that right so um, I made it work. It was just one of those things, like I have to use this, I am gonna make it work. So now I'm gonna go around all the stitched edges of those puffy clouds and then on my A2 size card front. So I'm making one slimline card and one A2 size card. And you can see there I'm kind of grabbing up some of that ink off of my glass mat and using that on that panel. So all those are inked, ready to go. Now I wanna add a little liquid stardust which I have mixed with some water in a little dish and I'm using this edge of a piece of window sheet to help me splatter like a fine mist of this all over these ink blended panels. And it is fabulous. Like the, the fine mist on there is so sparkly, just like fairy dust, which is how I wanted it to look. So I was really pleased with how it turned out. Here are the images that I'm putting on the first card. I have used not only the Unicorn Picnic, but also the small Unicorn stamp set, um, Sparkle, I don't remember the name of it. I'm gonna put it on the screen. It has a unicorn and two fairies. Now the fairies from the um, Unicorn Picnic are the mirror image of the fairies in that unicorn sparkle stamp set and then I've also used some of the village stamp set village shops village um it's the town village town village happy village that's what it's called and then the village heroes stamp set so I can make a little unicorn village and I'm showing you how I colored out these unicorns just with some tonal grays and two colors of um, markers for their manes and then I'm going to do some fun colors on the buildings the buses and just make like a uh, kind of a pastel uh, themed town so you'll see here like this teal house is so cute and then the bright yellow school the pink bus like we it has to be unique did you see a little hand sneak in there take a marker. My daughter was actually coloring all of these images. I left them in my Misty. She stamped out a sheet for her and was coloring all of them out too. So that was pretty fun to do together. And this pink house right here is what inspired card number two. So keep that in mind. But here's all the images colored and die cut out and ready to go on my card. So first let's stamp out our sentiment, which says have a magical day from that unicorn picnic stamp set. Such a cute saying, I love it. And then this could be 
used for any kind of card, a birthday or not. And then I'm gonna put all of these cloud panels up on foam square. So I'm gonna start with the bottom and then the top, and then it's a little bit easier to space out the ones in between. So that's what I'll do here. And I did have a little issue. I had to scoot one of them after it was down. I didn't keep it in because the video was really long, but it's this piece right here. Once I stuck it down, it was a little crooked. I had to peel it back up and stick it on again. And I, I had like a little wrinkle in the paper and I just hit it with a tree, that little tree there. <laughs> so there's no stress in stamping, right? One, uh, a friend of mine used to say that and I just loved it. So it's a good mantra to live by, just have fun. So now I am layering on all the things in this cute little town up in the clouds with all the unicorns. My daughter and I had a discussion about unicorns. They don't fly is pretty much the gist of the conversation and but they can walk on clouds she said so it was okay to have a unicorn town or village in the clouds so i just i told her it's my story so in my story they could fly or you know they have fairies so maybe the fairies put pixie dust on them and then they fly up into the clouds and that's how that works right it's a thing i'm sure but it's my story, so I get to decide. <laughs> All right, so I have the little flag with the uh, fun colors on it for the school, and now I'm taking this one. This little guy right here can be used for reveal wheel, so of course you'll be seeing me make a reveal wheel with that, but I thought I would cut around his little hoof and put a donut there. Yeah, and there's also faces you can put on his little cloud for the reveal wheel, so that's really cute. And I changed my mind, scooted him over to the other side because I thought it'd be really cute for the fairies to be flying right by him and he's smiling over at them. So I colored out all four of the fairies. They're really cute. To, so now you have a fairy looking right and a fairy looking left, and then the ones that are facing you, their heads are tilted, so one's tilted right, one's tilted left. So if you have this previous unicorn set, it's really fun to use all four of those fairies together. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, shimmer a little bit of glitter with my lawn fawn glitter pen just you know wherever it seems like it would make it more fun I for sure wanted to have it on my unicorn horns and my fairy wings and that's where I added it and then there's a little sparkle there's a few sparkle stamps in this set so I just took that same ink from lawn fawn that I stamped my sentiment in and added some of those sparkles throughout I did go a little crazy like it was just so cute to stamp them and I just kept going and I finally had to stop myself after this one like no that's enough that's enough all right, so I'm gluing this panel down onto a card base that measures eight and three fourths by seven and a half. I scored it at three and three fourths and folded it in half to make the card that fits the Lawn Fawn large slimline panel perfectly with a little bit of border all the way around. So for the inside, I had a leftover unicorn. I added it to a cloud and gave him a little piece of chocolate cake. And then I also had some clouds left over from practicing how to make my cloudy panel for a slimline card that I added to the inside. And now here's this little girl. She thinks that she knows her way to the unicorn village and she's gonna dress up in her unicorn costume and sneak in there and find it and prove to everybody that unicorns are real because she believes. And that's the story. <laughs> right there so the inside um, has no sentiment so you can add your own when you want to um, give this to a, a certain person you can fit it to any occasion that way so that's why I a lot of times don't put a sentiment on the inside but I am really working on making it cute on the inside so I'm finishing up this card with some white gel pen accents because it just gives it that shine I love it I'm I know I need to work on my white gel pen skills. Like some of my um, friends in my Lawn Fawn fans group, man, they got white gel pen skills. If you girls are watching, you know who I'm talking about. Wow. All right, so there is card number one, some slimline fun. It's adorable. All right, card number two. I had some cars left over from last month's card series where I did the car critters, and I thought, let's see if we can put a unicorn in a car, right? Because in Unicorn Village, I'm sure they all have cars or modes of transportation for maybe when the pixie dust is low. 
yeah and I colored so it was already colored but I added color to the headlights I added color to the license plate stamped I love you on there and I'm gonna die cut that out so the windows cut out as well I stamped a second unicorn that was on that cloud so it's a little bit smaller and if you have like the unicorn in the stamp set that's like a um, an agenda stamp Oh gosh, it's really small and cute. I'm sure it would fit in here. So just play with your sets and see what you have that fits in this car. It's tons of fun. If you need more ideas with this set, I have five videos using this car. So you can go check those out in either my Lawn Fawn playlist or in my Stamp Set of the Month playlist on my channel. Now we have the Build a House die set. I love this die set, you guys. Speaking of Stamp Set of the Month, one month. I love this die set so much. I did a die set of the month series featuring this right here. So I die cut out the pieces I wanted from pink and then I'm taking my scoreboard and I'm scoring um, every fourth of an inch, but I actually started on the one eighth of an inch line. I found that my scores fit better on this piece if I started at one eighth of an inch and then went every fourth of an inch. So these white pieces that you see me gluing on all the white is actually pixie dust cardstock. So it's glittery from Lawn Fawn. And then I have a light pink and a dark pink cardstock to um, make this house be super cute for unicorns to live in. And it was inspired by the pink house on the Slimline card. So I feel like card number two is like, if you zoom in on the village, this might be one of the houses in the little village. So uh, there you have it. <laughs> This is a little flower box for outside the window. I think it's cute, but I didn't add any flowers to it this time. I put some light blue cardstock behind the windows and the little chimney, and I added the doorknob as the same color, and I kind of liked it. So now I'm going to tuck this into the clouds on that first puffy cloud backdrop that I die cut. Stick that down into place. I'll add my car with the unicorn in it. And then I made um, some other images to go on this card as well. So you'll see those pop in in just a sec. But I thought it would be fun. And instead of having smoke coming out to have a little, um, those little sparkles coming out. So now we have the unicorn here. He's waiting for the unicorn in the car to come home because he or she, this unicorn, went out for ice cream and brought home ice cream. And if you're anxiously waiting outside your house for someone to bring you ice cream, chances are maybe you have a baby unicorn in your tummy, right? Maybe, maybe this unicorn is expecting. That's what I'm thinking. And now I have my little fairies that I'm gonna put on, but to make sure I get everything in the right place, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my sentiment first, and I'm gonna stamp this one to say, you're magical. Because if this was for a person <laughs> having a baby, that's pretty magical right? It's very magical. All right, so now we'll add the fairies all around. I have this little red-headed fairy in a purple dress. I have some, there we go, uh, dark-haired fairies, and I just like to make them all different colors, and you should see the fairies that my daughter colored. They are so cute. Uh, hopefully, she'll finish up her card. She's still die-cutting her images as I'm recording this, so... We'll see what becomes of all her pieces. This is the cleaning fairy. I mean, if you live in Unicorn Village and there's fairies, wouldn't you have a cleaning fairy? Yeah, I would totally have a cleaning fairy, especially if there's a little baby unicorn in the oven. Mm -hmm. All right, so I glued that onto a pink card base and I wanted to add the same glitter pen. So I added it to the windows, the fairy wings, unicorn horns, and just little... Uh, touches here and there of the glitter. I like it on the headlights for the car. So if you do have that car set, it's another um, good way to use your glitter pen. And of course, some white gel pen for some highlights and shine, even on the, the uh, cleaning fairy, because she's sparkly clean. All right, then on the inside, I die cut the largest cloud die from the Unicorn Picnic set from that Pixie Dust cardstock. And then this unicorn, I put the little sparkles on his bum. So cute. And then colored this one with a pink mane. And I am using um, RV13 and RV21. I had to think about that really hard. But um, I like how these two markers blend together. It's the 13 that's the darker of the colors and the 21's the lighter, which seems backwards to me, but it works. I love it. All right, a little more glitter for this cute unicorn on the inside. 
and that finishes up these cards i hope that you're happy that we're doing the unicorn set if you voted for either the goats or the not too shabby sets you will be seeing those make an appearance on my channel um or uh, other channels that I design for in the coming days. So don't be sad. I'll make sure that you see them. Um, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure you leave a comment below because I'm going to draw a winner from the comments to receive one of these cards in the mail from me. Okay. So leave me a comment. Tell me which one's your favorite. And I would love to hear from you. I just love chatting with you guys so much. So if you need any of the things in today's video, they are listed and linked for you below. And I will see you again next Tuesday, if not sooner, for another crafty video. Happy stamping. Bye.